I'm in love. In this world. I need to get to Bohemian Grove from Las Vegas. I really need to be there by the 21st at 7.21 a.m. If I can't get there by the... Then, then make the um, 7:21 like p.m. Okay, those be the I, for Mary Magic to start the Mary Magic. But if I have to, I'll go in on the 22nd or the 23rd. And my Master Mason, the, the Illuminati, the 12 judges, the reptilians that sit at the tip of the pyramid, have him. They took him away from me so that I wouldn't be able to talk to Pendar or Draken before I left to get any more details. Because Pendar has given me instructions on how to get into Boho secret instructions. You know, without having to go through the gate. Um, but, and it, you know, it's gonna, it's like a 15 hour drive. I need a ride there, okay? I don't have to have a ride back. You don't, you don't have to camp out and wait for me. Nobody, you know, I just need to get there um, the 21st through the 23rd. And my Master Mason has, they've got him in like a bohemian like compound. Bohemian Grove like compound and he thinks Kansas City, he's not sure. But he's been texting me several actually quite a bit with messages from the twelve judges, um the twelve Imperial Dragons. And they told me that this sacrifice that my sacrifice is inevitable if I go in, if they catch me. Well it won't be hard to catch me because I'm not that strong, I'm not that fast, I don't know how to fight. But the power of love, see, this wasn't my idea. This vision was not my idea. I, I didn't give myself this. This, It's like, you know, and I just can't believe that Homer would send me, I call our creator Homer for home. You know, God, or, you know, I just say Homer for home. I'm not saying God's name is Homer. I'm just saying I call him that. But um, I, I can't believe, you know, that, you know, all this time and all this far, you know, and then just leave me. But I think the angels and the gods and I think everybody's just watching to see what you guys are going to do. I think they're watching to see because we're all in our, having our tests right now. We're all being tested. How many jewels you get on your crown which means how, how many um, powers you get and also um, who gets to stay and who doesn't. I'm not the judge. I'm just supposed to go gather you up and try to get God's children back home. With the dragon, the dragon's are all cold blooded and they are all pedophiles and they don't their emotions okay their emotions they feel like human emotions they've already got because they're logic okay and their logic in their mind says humans are food so they lodge in their mind that is so programmed themselves that we are less than them that it was hard to change their mind as far as being able to feel human emotions but they feel emotions through vibration and through music. Music, like, you know, the chant. That's why I can do the chant and call, no matter, you know, Pat Master Mason was here. I could chant and get to talk to Pendar or Draken again, but because I only got a small amount of instructions, like, you know, like how to get it. And then he says, when you get, and when you get to the owl, and then he left his body because my Master Mason's body, but they told me that, um, my sacrifice is, you know, that's what they're, they're, they're going to do to me, but they've done it over and over and over, life after life, and, you know, a lot of my gory artwork, explain, trying to show, and plus help me remember, and the reason I show my pictures over and over and over is because I can't get, seem to get through to you guys through words, I'm trying to sink into your head, show you, simplify it, what's going on, okay, but when I go into Boho, nobody has to say, I just need a ride, I can pay for gas, it's like 15 hours away. It's like about three hours past San Francisco, California. It's Sonoma, California. And, um, you know, and I'm trying to think, okay, what do I bring? What do I bring? You know, a, a backpack. Okay, I'm going to need lots of water. And so I'm going to freeze, freeze some bottled water so it'll be frozen so that when I start, I, I don't know if it'll be stay frozen the whole car ride, so, but I don't drink warm water, whatever. And then I'm trying to think, okay, clothes. I really ain't going to need, I mean, outfits, you know, um, you know, I mean, I, I don't know, I guess, because, you know, I'm going to be carrying this stuff. I'm going to be climbing and stuff like that. And there's also a ravine, a water ravine, but the place, 
but if, if I go in, when I go in, um, I don't know, but I know the power of my love, and even if they do want to hurt me or catch me, the, I don't think they'll be able to. I mean, I think that they, they just, like, they won't face me now. Like, Troy Riggis won't face me now, you know, because of the feeling, the love, you know, they just, you know, and so, but, you know, the more people that were behind me on this and that were out there in the world that cared would help increase my confidence and my Earth Mother powers in there to survive to stop these human sacrifices. And there may be a sacrifice in Reno going on, the baby and then um, the 12-year-old baby. I don't know for sure, but... Uh, it was stressed to me, though, that, that Princess Diana's son is definitely um, to be sacrificed on the Osiris, uh, the 23rd. Uh, he's 12, and I feel love. I feel love. Do you even feel it all? You know, if we lose, we lose, and when, 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 when it's too late, it's too late. You know what I'm saying? It's true. This opportunity, these opportunities that you get in your life that you pass up, they'll never come again.